What's going on guys? I'm Sovereign and I'm back with the next segment of Dark Souls. So yeah. Alright, so basically I'm at the part where I just left off. I am ready to fight Artorius. However, I usually don't like to fight him alone because he is a powerful boss to fight. And let's see. I'll, uh, I'll summon this guy. Elite Knight Armor, um, Solaire Shield, and a Shimtar I believe he's using. Huh. This guy must, pre must think he's pretty good if he's going around with that. I mean, I got the Guardian Helm, leggings, and gauntlets, and using Havel's armor. Yes, the Havel's armor is apparently slightly bit stronger than the Guardian armor. But let's look at how the Guardian armor looks. Oh, look at that. I'm a Guardian. Alright. Uh, maybe this dude's away at the moment? I hope not. Uh, by the looks of it, this dude might be away, so I don't think he's going to be helping me at all in this fight. <laughs> Blue Star VP, are you there? Of course you can't hear me, I don't have a headset or and game, Dark Souls does not have a game chat. Want to talk to somebody in Dark Souls, you can only do private chats, people. Hello? I'll slash you if I have to. Sucks how his soul, his summon sign was the only summon sign there. Oh my god, alright. I'm not gonna waste my time here. I'm just gonna send him back home. He ain't gonna be helping me. Alright, see, so yeah, I'm gonna put back Havel's armor. I don't chunky roll, which is a good thing. All right, let's let's just try fighting Solaire by myself. Let's see how well this can work out. No, uh, not Solaire. Damn it, Artorius! What the hell is wrong with me? And now we fight Knight Artorius. Wow. Yeah, look at how much damage he just did to me. Good thing I have a lot of stamina. I would normally heal, but I'm waiting for a specific attack right now. Yeah, my... It's so hard to get a good hit on this guy. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, honestly. Whoa, close. Just 
basically know, have to know when you're gonna shield. Ow. Ow. At least he's not powering up yet, and I probably should not have said that, because he will, most likely now. Ow. Yeah, apparently that one attack no stunned me no matter what. Okay. Okay, when he starts doing that, quickly attack him. Does that if he manages to finish his powering up, yeah, he can do even more damage than he was already doing to me. I don't know how that hit me. Guess I was still in range. Or that one. Yeah, if you can knock him out of it, that's a great thing. And that still managed to hit me. Knight Artorius is no pushover, people, so be extra cautious if you plan on fighting him alone. Okay, need to heal. I only have three SS flasks to go, and I have him down to the brim of his HP by the looks of it. I think he wants to try to power up. Almost definitely. Not gonna happen. Good thing I pulled out my shield again. <sighs> okay, need to heal quickly. I took that hit, honestly. But I need to heal again. Yeah! And there goes Knight Artorias, people! Possibly one of the toughest bosses you can fight in this game. In the DLC, honestly. So yeah, out of that fight you get uh, Soul of Artorias. Now for that one, I am not going to be using it. I am going to save it. However, what I am going to do in this segment is also f not only fight Knight Artorias, but let's warp back to the Olysseal Sanctuary real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this segment nice and short, just so in case the audio, my commentary here gets deleted again, it's going to piss me off if it does. But yeah, rest back here, work back to the Olysseal Township, that was the bonfire I just lit. Now warping between the bonfire causes to have the Lord Blade show up right there in Artorius' chamber. I am actually surprised I beat Artorius by myself right there. 
I feel accomplished. So yeah, she makes a little grave here. You talk to her. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on the spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect for that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Yeah, just answer no. Do not give her the soul of Artorius. Yes, of course. I must not be presumptuous. Artorius would not have approved. Yeah. Now, instead of get like, you could give her the, the soul of Artorias, and she will give you the gold and silver tracers. But what I like to do is kill her, so I can get her armor piece as well. And her armor piece is like light armor, so yeah. And the gold tracer does do bleed effect, which is why I want it. And backstab. Yeah, she does have a lot of HP, but she's not very, too terribly tough. Lloyd Talismans. Do not get hit by that. And she's basically done. Once you kill her, she, you get her weapons and her armor. Leave more dragons! Give me your things! And with that, we get the Dark Silver Tracer, the Gold Tracer, the Lord Bla the Porcelain Mask, and the Lord's Bla Lord Bla Lord's Blade Robe, Gloves, and Waist Cloth. Honestly, if you check out the stats, it's not very great, but I like to wear it because it looks kind of cool. Whoops, wrong one. Dang it. There it is. There we go. Now, and my equipment load is at 25.2 out of 144. So, yeah. And with that, I also have my gold tracer here. Unfor once I reinforce the gold tracer, it requires Twinkling Tight Knight to do that. It will be stronger than the Falchion, and it does bleed damage, which I very, very much love a lot. I'm not sure how much, how many Twinkling Tight Knights I have right now. I have nine. I need one more Twinkling Tight Knight, and I know where just to find it too. So for now, I'm just gonna hold on to it, and. I'll basically go for the next one with Titan Knight. Now let's start making our way down here real quick. Let's kill this guy. These guys are pretty strong. Well, not that strong in HP, but yeah, they are still pretty strong. Large Soul of a Proud Knight. I still got a couple minutes before this video's ended. Okay, back away. These guys are pretty strong with their hands. They also do drop large Titanite shards on occasion, which is pretty good. The only downside of me being human here is that I can be invaded. Nothing from these guys. Alright, so down here, you gotta be careful. There's a sorcerer with some pretty powerful magic. When, that, when he does that lap, that's your best time to attack. And over here we get a soul of a brave warrior. Now what I like to do is first try to lure this one. Cause that remember that merchant we had we met before? Yeah, he invades you for no apparent reason. And he's pretty strong too. So yeah, be very, very cautious on that. And he does shoot like freaking roses at you. And bolts as well. Oh yeah, and those bolts are pretty strong, and considering the armor I'm wearing is not very helpful. I'm trying to get a good backstab on him, but frankly, he's not doing me, he's not giving me any service right now. Dang it, that 
little drop. That's what he loves to do is that drop kick thing. Okay. Need to heal up again. I'm gonna be wasting all my freaking Estus Flask on this guy. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't really get anything out of it. You just kill him and get 9,505 souls. And if you kill the real one, you get the same amount of souls. Now down there, that's a mimic. I am going to leave that alone for now and head this way. Jump down here, there is a crystal lizard, which I really, really want. Nope. Okay, drop down. Please tell me it killed it. Yes, it did. And I get the twinkling titanite that I'm looking for. Now, let's kill the mimic. Yeah. Didn't really give him a chance to attack, and what these guys drop, eh, it's the carvings that, um, Hawkeye Gaw is making. In the next segment, I will be showing how to get to Hawkeye Gaw, and then my next segment will, after that, will probably be fighting Black Dragon Calamity. Now, that one you definitely want someone to help you with, because I'm going to try to get somebody to summon so I can be able to cut off his tail. So now that I have 10 Twinkling Titanite, let's reinforce that. Yeah, you can also reinforce the Dark Silver Tracer too. Now that one, eh, it's not very good on damage, but the critical for it is amazing. 160 for critical, yeah, that, that, that can do quite a bit. Like if you were post or backstab, yeah, those are critical damages. Not much for the gold tracer on critical, but yeah, it does do bleed effect, which is which makes it awesome. I'm going to be reinforcing that. All right, with that being done, I still have one twinkling tight knight, but however, I am now going to uh right now level up. I am going to level up my dexterity five times to make it a good even. Normally I would have gone through the rest of the game as a level 50 for a challenge, but didn't really feel like it. Oh man, this one's still stronger than this one, that's not cool. Looks like I need to level up my dexterity a bit more. But I'm still going to use the gold tracer. I don't really like to use the dark silver tracer for my on my right hand and the gold tracer is on my left, because honestly I can't really parry at all. Alright, so that'll basically end this segment. Let me kindle this bonfire. And basically, off screen, what I'm going to be doing is going to be helping lots of people fight Artorius or Calamite, hopefully, and just farm soul so I can buy more Twinkling Titanite. I just need about, let's see, 40, 50 more Twinkling Titanite to reinforce the Lord Blade's armor and the Dark Silver Tracer. So, with that being done, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to visit us at thehistoricalnerds.com. You have been a great audience, and have a great day, people.